All right, we're going to start moving into a little bit of football training here. Use cones, use bags, use whatever you got. The most important thing is you're doing the work at 100% intensity. We got here six rows of cones that's going to simulate a bag, okay? In this drill, we're going to place two down a little bit farther to let ourselves get out and sprint after we get through the cones. This drill here, we're going to sprint forward. We're going to shuffle from side to side. I'm going to go about half speed and show us what we're doing here. So you're going to give it a shuffle. You're going to come up to the next cone, and we're going to try to get somewhere. It's a little bit of linear, linear lateral movement we're trying to work on. When he gets to the end, he's going to sprint it out. Jog on back here. Notice he's got the bands on. The reason why we use K-bands is to use the resistance to build a little bit of hip strength and drive our leg up with power. So when we do these, we're going to go about six to eight reps with resistance, and then we're going to move down to four to six without to really start working with the lighter feeling in our legs and develop that speed. So let's go ahead and go at a couple full speed here. Notice he's really planting on that outside foot and he gets out and goes. Let's take a quick look while he gets back here. When you get in this position, you want to be in a balanced low position. You're going to shuffle as you get to the point where you're going to go the other way. Make sure you get a good base and stay centered. If you leave this foot out too wide, you're not going to be able to get out and go. If you leave it too close, you're not going to be able to shift your weight evenly to get to the next cone. So make sure you get in a place where you're balanced, shift and go, all right? Let's see another one here. Full speed, he's got quick feet, he's planting that outside foot, he's low, he's got power, he plants and gets out and go. Good. Remember, six to eight with resistance, four to six without. We're gonna go one more without resist or with resistance, and then we're gonna do a couple for you without. Get out and go, get out and go, be quick, be quick, pivot and go. Good. Each of these exercises, make sure that you sprint through the cones, pull up, walk back. You want to work at 100% intensity, so if you lose your breath, slow it down a little bit because we're not going to use this as much as conditioning as we want to use fast feet, all right? So you can go ahead and unclip. Good. Now here, make sure your first rep you keep a good center of balance. You don't want to get out of control now that your legs are going to feel a little lighter. You still got to make sure you keep your center and work to make your feet move faster. All right, you ready? Here we go. Come on, move, move, move. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Get out and go. Good. Here we go, be quick, be quick. Get around, get around, get around. Be quick, get out and go. Hi, boy. Make sure to wear sliders underneath. It'll hold your band still. Always work with resistance, work as fast as you can, stay centered, keep your balance, and push the pace.